Hello you people who love looking at Sharon Stone's pussy. Famous Poe, infamous show. I tried to capture it. But it was the way she walked and moved. Her smile, her voice. She sang like an angel. And she could play the harpsichord as no other woman I have ever known could play it. Francis Bonnet has journeyed from England to find the details of his sister's death. He is unsatisfied with the explanation, but is determined to stay at Don Medina's place until the truth is uncovered. He is very suspicious of Don Medina. Medina explains, but there's a nagging feeling. The torture chambers, the history of Medina's sadistic father, and an event so brutal it left him psychologically scarred. There is something strange going on. Her uh, death was inevitable, I fear, under the circumstances. This castle, this odious atmosphere. What has the castle to do with it? What has the castle? It's too late now, Charles. I, I didn't want him to know. Know what? Price is deliciously hammy here. Barbara Steele plays his wife, the sister. Roger Corman made these movies with small budgets. Yet this movie was shot with Panavision cameras, which gives it a layer of polish. The sets are well dressed, the costumes. I would wear John Kerr's garments. The scene with the pendulum is one of the great horror moments and very influential. It's a wonderfully edited scene. I can understand that back in the early 60s, Corman had to be very careful about what he could get away with. If it had been made in the 70s, it would have been a different story. Of course, audiences lapped it up. Working with Corman and William Castle at the time proved Price's Ham was box office gold.